Let's put those wireless Xbox and PlayStation controllers into some good use and turn our computers into a retro gaming system. And yes, this method I'm about to show you will work up to four players. But first, how do we connect our, our controllers to our computers? The easiest method is just to use a USB cord, just a regular USB cord that came with the controller, plug it to the computer, wait until the computer recognizes it, and then that's it. You can also test it out by trying to move around the stream. Now, when it comes to the Bluetooth option, all we have to do is just go to the settings on a Windows computer. From the settings, go to the Bluetooth option, turn on the Bluetooth option. And just a quick tip, if you paired the remote before, you may have to remove that paired remote to add it again for a second time and beyond. But once we have the Bluetooth option on, the next step is to put our remotes into the pair mode. Xbox controllers has one designated button to do this, but on PlayStation 4 controllers, we have to hold down the PlayStation button and the share button at the exact same time until we see the light start blinking. I'm sure we'll be able to do this with newer controllers as well, but I'll leave the information in the video description. So we're going to use the first Bluetooth option for PlayStation remotes. The third one is just for Xbox remotes. But once your Windows computer finds your PlayStation remote, you'll see it under wireless controller. After that, we're done. You can go ahead and try to move around the home screen of your computer to see if it's connected successfully. All right, that's the hardest part, y'all. So next, we just gotta go to this website on any web browser. From this website, we can play any game, any retro game we can find for free. And normally, we just use our keyboards to play these games, but since we paired our remotes to our computer, we can just use our, our gaming remotes. Once you find and select a game, you'll see two advertisements the first one it'll play for about 30 seconds or so and then the next one you can just skip after that the game will load up it may take some time depending on the size of the game but once it loads up just press on the black part of the screen and then it should start normally and you can press the option on the bottom right hand corner to make it full screen now some important tips I want to tell you, I highly recommend that you do not use other programs while trying to play games. Like you see right now, my game is moving in slow motion. That's because I have a program running in the background to record my stream. Another tip is we can save our points in the game. At the bottom left hand corner, you can select the option to download a file only takes like a second to download and right next to the download option is option to load up the files you already downloaded now luckily the files is timestamped so you can easily see which one is the last one or which one is the earliest one however you like to do it but once you load up the file everything will start right where you left off at and like i said before don't use any programs while playing so you see i close my my, my program in the background and now the game is working smoothly without any issues or lag. I really hope you enjoy this. This is something we can use with what we already have. You don't have to go out and buy anything else. All right. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm your downloading pirate. And I'm out.